Gets it easy and tags him. <laughs> Didn't mean to. The point, he's got speed. If Novak comes in and he's going to volley below the net height, it's got to be pure because he will track balls down. Djokovic used the drop shot. That's a big hold. Middle zone. That's what he can do when he does. I was talking about this is the middle zone the first one now out wide and then he was in the same spot 131 kilometers now well directed no oh, it's hard to win a point off him Schwartzman came up with a brilliant shot that drew the gas of the crowd. Well, we just saw an illustration of why this man is regarded as possibly the greatest returner of serve of all time. There's a difference also, just that extra change of pace, Scott. Schwartzman battled hard, but the damn wall finally had to break. And it breaks the way of Djokovic. Down he goes, and hopefully he's OK. Might be a bit of skin off. Powering back hard for the, for the other side of the court, to protect the other side of the court. It was a battle. He had to work hard, but he's got there in 38 minutes. Djokovic takes the first set, 6-3. They're in the support. Supporting coach's box or player's box, whatever you want to call it. Gaston Gaudio was outstanding with the way he moved the ball around the court. It's just got the feeling now of a match that's being played on Novak's Thank terms. You. The pep in Schwartzman's step looks to have potentially disappeared for a minute or so. The best view we saw that last point played in. Gives you an idea of the spins. And that's not going to make him feel any better. That really reinforces the advantage for the number two seed. Wow. Just 
base is rock solid. It's extraordinary. And just unable to push off as effectively as he was earlier in the match. Djokovic is 67 on his own. And at the moment, he's just hitting the ball back to him. It really does look like he's going through this flat spot. Knows that he's got this one at the moment where he wants it, but he also knows he's got a feisty competitor at the other end. He's playing him any way he likes him right now. Ticket and we walk in, we want to see the greats deliver their special skill set and this is Novak at his best. In the early stages of this second set. 15-14. It's all happening a bit too so quickly for Diego Schwartzman. Not a bad way to bring up two break points. A very interesting choice of shot from Djokovic on break point down. And there's one of the breaks back. Three games to one. Revitalize him a little. Djokovic might have had a play on that and just decided not to push. When he came out, yeah, the welcome for Schwartzman was just as loud as it was for Djokovic. Absolutely, it was the first thing I noticed. He breaks back almost like 40% of the time. 43, I think it is. Once he's been broken. Well, he still might. So his ability to respond immediately and stay engaged. And Starting to feel the vibe in Rod Laver Arena. Well, that comes as a welcome relief to the number two seed to have a gentle stress-free game, a hold to love.
Got him. That is exceptional tennis. He's not going anywhere just that. The physicality around this point here because Schwartzman had to do so much work. You can see him, he's, his big driving muscles, the quads are just loading up consistently. And then he just survived and kept hanging in there. And then he had the calmness to play that ball. Schwartzman is selling to the call on the left serve. The ball was called in. Big tournament for him. Milos, mm. I know in Canada they would have thought maybe one of the two younger guys might have come through and been into the second week. That's good. The current era, they've been able to use their serve. That's a great point. Sets it up well, likes to go wide a lot. This is a, a big play for him, again, using his assets. Look at the way he stays on the ball. You know the opposition, but that, that's just look at that. That's controlled. You can see Novak just holding the racket face on the ball. Watch this. He holds the racket face on the ball there for a little bit longer. Brilliant. On the line. Short money is heading to the call on the right near sideline. The ball was called in. He's got to do this because it's a. He's got challenges up his sleeve. Look more in than out. Oh, it's in. Diego Schwartzman has only ever been able to come back from two sets to live down once in his career. He's going to have to make it twice. Different type of athlete too in that match because of obviously Kevin's tall. He's got he's trying to serve big on clay. Perfect. He had time to settle, and then Novak, you see that he just moved and jumped forward, and once you do that, Winners in all for Schwartzman now. And they should be too. Oh, yes. <laughs> and well, they might. Good show of sportsmanship from Novak. 14 15. Stop him, nobody knows. It's pretty cool, wasn't it? It just shows you awareness. Here's hits a tape. Oh, no, I'll just turn around and hit this. Give a little flick. Yeah. 
15, Djokovic. Second service ace for Djokovic at 182 kilometres an hour. Out of the Djokovic. deep blue sky comes a break to love. It had to be so precise. That's exactly what it was. That's a great drop shot. I mean, that was locked down for Novak there. Going to do whatever he needed to do to out rally his opponent. But that drop shot, look, it had some height in the air and it still had the ability. Actually, it was a poor slide. That's awesome. Now he's running out of time to find his way back into this third set. Well, his serve has completely deserted him at the moment that he needed it most. Very poor carrot. Stick to the ice cream. <laughs> Schwarzman has one challenge remaining. And there's the difference when you get a first serve in. Yes. Brilliant depth, great control. With some full power if you could get access to it. That was yes. the 10th point of this game, giving him the death stare. <laughs> well, they love it. It's there for the highlights reel, but it was unlikely it was going to be effective against this man. Look how quickly Novak's trying to play these rally, these points. Perfect. Right in the corner. We saw the clock has just ticked past the two hour mark. Again, look at this backhand coming up now. That's the one that created this opportunity. And that was very pure ball striking. It's like hitting a ball up against a wall. Coaches, you always talk about trying to get that next ball back. Make them play one extra ball. 
in this case, make him pay about three or four extra balls. And that's how he uh, earns his living. That's just so good. You can see he's like, just opens his shoulders and just releasing the ball. He's on his way to the quarterfinals again. Novak Djokovic knew that he was going to have a fight on his hands because whenever this man's on court, you're guaranteed of getting that.